D Rock here, you first outdoors. How is everyone doing? Hope you are all well. Well, I had a little time today, so I decided to come back out here to Lower Sand Cove Reservoir and see if I can redeem myself. I was out here a oh, month, month and a half, maybe two months ago. I can't really recall at this point, but I fished the upper and lower reservoirs and I got skunked. Let me tell you, I got my butt handed to me. So, you know, I just, I gotta redeem myself. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna head to the lower reservoir. I'm just gonna stick to that one today because I have some other things happening later this afternoon. And I have a little time, so I wanna see if I can at least get a bluegill, if not, a largemouth bass. I'll take both, you know, brought a couple rods, plenty of lures, and uh, my reservoir is right over here, so I don't have much farther to go. Let's see if we can get some. All right, got the place to myself. How about that? Nothing's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna catch a fish. Just got a good feeling about it this time. All right, let's get some. I'm gonna start uh, a little rooster tail here. See if that can't uh, dig something out. Any gunk on it? Nope, maybe that was a hit. <clears throat> oh! <sighs> Caught some junk. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's take a break from the rooster tail and we're gonna try a dinger in the watermelon pearl laminate flavor. See if there's a bass skulking around anywhere. Some work, I'll try something else. It's a big patch of weed right there. I'm gonna try around that. I might be holding a fish.
Tough place, let me tell you. Tough place. Getting spooked now. Ay, ay, ay. I know for a fact there's fish in here. Well, it's back to the truck. I'm gonna try some different uh, different lures Because what I got on right now ain't happening and that's this uh, Rooster tail here it may be too big And I've got this dinger here, so try something else All right, I'm switching to a smaller rooster tail. This is a 1 16th uh, could probably even go smaller than that, I think, but uh, we'll try this one and see, see what happens here. And I'm also going to go weedless with, I presume there's crawdads in this reservoir, so I'm going to try this yum green pumpkin craw, and it's pretty small, so I'm going to use a smaller offset hook there. And we'll try that too, weedless. All right, round two. All right, I just saw some fish shooting back and forth right here. That might be bluegill, might be small bass. So, <laughs> let's get that out. Oh, yep, that's a bluegill, I see it. Come on. Okay, come on, I wanna get one of these. I don't wanna get skunked, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, baby, come on. Oh, I have a fish. I have a fish. Oh my good. It's a bass. Oh. Oh my goodness, it is a big bass. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, folks, it happened, it happened. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Oh, 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 oh no, oh Lord, I have been redeemed. <laughs> oh. Woo! Look what I caught it on. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh Lordy. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah? Oh, yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, pal. Oh, 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 oh look at this thing. Woo! Oh.
<laughs> oh, folks, have a look. Oh, my heart's racing. I can't believe it. I thought I caught a rock for a second, but look at this bass. Look at this bass. That voice, my voice getting a little high there. I can't believe this. Hallelujah. Redemption is mine. <laughs> All right. That's. reservoir yeah mm. wow, I can't. and I caught it on uh, this little 1 16th uh, rooster tail and there's a weed bank right there and I saw a bunch of bluegill kind of swarming right here I've been trying to catch I cast off to the edge of the weed line literally maybe 15 20 feet not even that man from shore and boom that bass nailed it so they're not necessarily in deep water he's hanging on that weed line waiting for these bluegill to come close yeah at least that's what i think anyway that was a nice bass wow <laughs> Woo! wow i can't i'm overwhelmed this is incredible <laughs> uh, that was definitely worth the trip back out for sure oh that was excellent all right, well, I'm gonna do a couple more casts here. I'm kind of running out of time, actually. I've got some other things to do this afternoon, but whew, that was good. That was real good. Oh, you're not gonna believe this, folks. I got another fish on. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, I knew there was a little bluegill in here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Good night. Oh. Yes. Look how big this thing is. Oh, oh. All right. That bass definitely could swallow that. There are little ones in here like this. There probably is a nice little bass population. Oh. Right on, man. It's happening now. All right, folks, well, I'm out of time, so that's gonna be a wrap. And uh, yeah, it's proven now. There is bass and bluegill in the Lower Sand Cove Reservoir. So initially I thought about bringing the kayak today, but I just didn't have enough time to pull things together. So I will return again and uh, I'll bring a kayak. That way I can get out in the middle or focus on the other side of the weed line here and uh, the reeds and everything. I think this, this little reservoir could actually produce some, some nice bass and it's, it's proven too. So that was nice when I pulled in and I think, I think what is it, Kraken bass uh, had some nice catches in here as well. So we'll see, we'll see, but redemption is mine. And I tried a couple different lures, uh, the dinger no work, the, the larger uh, rooster tail I tried didn't have any action. I went to the smaller one here. And uh, that was the ticket, man. That was the ticket. I didn't get any luck off that little craw either, but uh, you know, who knows? Who really, really knows? So, thanks for watching. Tight lines. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support for the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Lots more to come. We'll see you next time. D Rock out. Adios.